This is Paul, and you're watching Made in Tokyo. Feel free to move around your mobile device, swipe around on your screen, or arrow keys to move around. Please consider supporting me by clicking on the subscribe button and turning on your notifications for more videos about Japan. Today I have a treat for you guys. We'll see Tokyo from a new angle. This 10 minute breathtaking helicopter flight brings you through a variety of famous places throughout Tokyo, such as Rainbow Bridge, Tokyo Tower, Imperial Palace, Tokyo Sky Tree, Tokyo Station, and more. We departed from the Tokyo Heliport in Tokyo Harbor. Here's a challenge. Look around for as many landmarks as you can find, including the four shown above in that order. Believe it or not, a 10 minute tour will set you back around 300 US dollars. A 20 minute all inclusive tour of Tokyo will set you back around 550 USD. And a 40 minute or more tour will be somewhere near a thousand USD. So definitely not your everyday luxury for most people. This is reserved for an anniversary, birthday, or special day. For those of you affected by turbulence, one important recommendation is to go on a day with less wind. Wind can affect the smoothness of the ride and the helicopter flight path. Today is mostly sunny. This helicopter ride feels like floating on a cloud and was much smoother than expected. In fact, it feels amazing. For access, the closest station is Shinkiba Station. Shinkiba Station can be reached by JR KO Line, Tokyo Metro Yurakcho Line, and Linkai Line. Tokyo Heliport is a 5 minute taxi or bus ride from Shinkiba Station. I took a taxi because it is most convenient. You don't want to miss your flight. Our first sight is coming up. Did you catch it? It's Rainbow Bridge, which was completed in 1993, arguably the most famous bridge in Tokyo connecting Shibuya Pier with the Daiba area. With a total length of 798 meters, it has three car lanes and two decks. It is illuminated in three different colors, red, white, and green every night using solar energy. Second on our list is Tokyo Tower, which is the red tower below. Tokyo Tower is a communications and viewing tower and arguably the most famous landmark in Tokyo. Coming in at 333 meters and constructed in 1957, the design was inspired by the Eiffel Tower and designed by the famous architect Tachu Naito. Number 3, the Imperial Palace below is the regular home of the Emperor of Japan. It is a large park-like area in the Chiyoda district of Tokyo. It is constructed on the former site of the Edo Castle. The overall size, including the parks, is a little over 1.1 square kilometers. It is a 10 minute walk from Tokyo Station. Next is Tokyo Station Below. The original station is situated in the Marunouchi Business District, close to the Imperial Palace grounds, and the newer eastern extension is the Yaisu Shopping Area. The station first opened in 1914. Connected on the Shinkansen High Speed Rail Network, Tokyo Station is one of the busiest stations in Japan, with more than 4,000 trains entering and leaving every day, 
and the busiest in eastern Japan in terms of passenger traffic. On average, more than 500,000 people use Tokyo Station every day. The station is also served by a number of regional Japanese train lines, as well as the Tokyo Metro Network. Can you see Tokyo Skytree Tower below? It is a broadcasting and viewing tower in Sumida, Tokyo. It became Japan's tallest building in 2010 and construction finished in 2012. It is 634 meters or 2,080 feet tall. Tokyo Sky Tree also looks like a five-story pagoda. The bottom of the tower has a layout compared to that of a tripod. At night, there are two illumination patterns alternating every night. There's Iki, which is when the tower turns a sky blue color, and Miyabi, when the tower shows an elegant refined purple color. Here is the flight map, and the blue line is the flight path that we are taking today. The stars show the notable places that we have seen so far. Rainbow Bridge, Tokyo Tower, Imperial Palace, and so on. Stick around for a minute. The next sight to see is Kasai Rinkai Park. Look in front of you! Kasai Rinkai Park is a park in Edogawa, Tokyo, officially opened on the 1st of June, 1989. The park includes a bird sanctuary and an aquarium called Tokyo Sea Life Park. It was built on reclaimed land, which includes two man-made islands, a viewing platform, and a hotel. It's the second largest park in Tokyo. All right, that was a lot of information. Let's get some coffee. I'm Paul, your host. Don't forget to subscribe, comment if you like this video, and stay tuned for the next one. You could have been anywhere on the web. 
Thank you for watching Made in Tokyo. See you in the next one.